Okay, so how do you use your 30-second your commercial? First thing is what not to do. Don't use the one or two word job description. Here's what I don't, how I don't want to start. Hi, I'm an accountant. As soon as you say that, everybody prejudges because we're all pre prejudiced by the definition whether we want to believe that or not. And as soon as you say accountant, the first thing goes through their mind is, I've already got an accountant, I know three other accountants, don't need an accountant, and I shut down and I stop listening to everything you have to say. So better is to say th something like, I work with people who really hate paying Uncle Sam at the end of the year. That's the kind of thing that gets people to say, yeah, well, I do too. So I want to kind of wrap my 30 second commercial around the person that I'm talking to and I want to talk about the problems I solve or the problems I expect they might have that I can help them with. Okay, so how do you get people to fall in love with you in 30 seconds when you're networking? And quite frankly, it's very easy. It takes one key question. The important thing first is to get the other person to go first and get the, and find out what they do and who they do it for and what their business is and let them give you their 30 second commercial because of course you want to build your 30 second commercial around theirs but before you do after they tell you what they do you ask them the one key question and it's love the question is can you describe for me what your ideal client looks like so I might be able to recognize them if I saw them and in that moment it's love and the interesting thing is, if you're going to ask the question, be prepared for a little silence because most people have never thought about it and they've got to stop and think. The really nice thing is, if you ask that question, now what are they socially obligated to ask you when it's your turn? Okay, so the biggest problem at a networking event, say there's 50 people there, invariably there's 50 people with their sales hats on and zero people there with their buying hats on. Everybody leaves with a bunch of business cards, goes home the next day, thinks they've got these nice warm calls, and by the time you get through the third one is when you figure out there are a bunch of cold calls. So if you want to differentiate yourself at a networking event, be different. Be the one that's listening to them. Be the one that's actually thinking, who do I know that I could refer to them? Be thinking about giving first and getting something back in return second. Always works.